So this is how a proper Xenon fight mission looks like when you have a bit higher combat rank. I actually brought the entire fleet to face them. Because this is getting a bit out of hand for my standard patrols. And the large transport is currently in transit. So I don't want to endanger him and play it safe. We're also, in, we are also earning a lot of money from the uh, police license. And of course you're getting some small bounties from the mission itself. So it's always profitable to do this if you have some uh, fight ships ready. Just be careful that you don't underestimate them because they can pack quite a punch, these Xenon fighters. It depends a bit on which laser they are using because that is also random between different games. But most often they have a quite decent weapons. And I also loaded up one of the large transporters and uh, he's making his way to various factories. He's actually carrying resources to fulfill four trading missions. Perseus. So that is going to be between maybe uh, 3000 to 4000 reputation. And um, that is with one trip, so loading up at the outpost and then visiting various Teladi sectors in the area. It's a very good way to get reputation. Seems like that was it. But we have another Xenon patrol that I know of, which came from this sector and then started to invade the Teladi space. But it seems like a rear guard has relocated and responded to the threat. Because you can see the alert level of this sector is hot. So the Teladi have everything under control. But it's going to be interesting to see how they will fare when I have more sectors and the Xenon patrols are getting larger and stronger. That will make them less able to keep them at bay. So we might as well already go to this sector and just try to destroy it. Xenon don't have any cap ships docked, so we can probably take it out, and it's just one station, as it seems. Yeah, let's go there, why not? Taking out the first Xenon sector was quite easy, so I suspect we can pull that off again. 
And if I'm settling in this area, then the sector could uh, give me some real trouble. So the sooner I take this out, the better. And we can probably take this whole area here. I mean, this sector here is not very good, but it has a Terran memory, which allows us to research Terran ships, and it also has a lot of research capability. So I might take that too. And the second large transport is still on his way to replace that lost beacon. And I'm always trying to grab these trading missions for now because this is a really great way to keep going. Another large transport has arrived back home. I will send him out to buy some more ore. We have another mining station in range that sells very cheap. So let's activate that trade lock and let him haul more minerals in. The station building is also very advanced. I have a lot of factories which I can uh, instantly place in the new sectors. I especially want to get a few food production lines going because I'm buying all this ore in the game world and these factories will need more uh, sea rations to keep producing. So let's build a few more food production factories and the protein paste blending facilities. just to give something back to the NPC economy. But they only want to sell us some ships. That mission is not for me. But we have another one up there. I'm going to just dock one of my ships and activate that mission later. The large transport just delivered the first load of the provision missions, which was 500 reputation. Going to this mine here. to complete the next one.
Okay, the large transport can move to the center of the sector to place the jump beacon. Okay, putting that down now, and this jump beacon allows him to instantly return back home and uh, jump from this sector back to my home system. Now I'm gonna increase the uh, strength of the jump beacon guard patrols. Like I said, I uh, didn't encounter another Xenon who was trying to infect them, but uh, better want to play it safe. So the Antigone one already has three ships. I'm going to ramp the Cardinal one up. Just setting the reinforcement to two instead of one. And since we already have the jump beacons in place, the sh new ships can instantly reach their new posts. Just giving everyone two fighters to defend their beacon. Looks solid. And as you can see, the outpost is uh, starting the construction on its own. So that is a really nice convenience feature. That got added uh, in a version where I just paused playing this game, so I'm not very familiar with the reinforcement feature. But so far it's uh, really a god's end to keep everything organized and uh, very efficient. Don't have to constantly open up your production screen and replace and order new ships, uh, say which fleets they have to join. This is a really nice feature. So we are almost there. I want to fly ahead a bit and take a first look into the Xenon sector. I have visited it before, can remember that. I didn't properly map it, so there could also be a few more than just one station with a small garrison. But taking this sector out would make the whole area very safe, so that is attractive.
Now let's see. Okay, we have two Xenon stations. But I don't see any cap ships which are docked to the arms at the side of the station. So this does seem to be manageable. Also can't see any patrol. There we have a signal. Yeah, they have a couple of corvettes, so they are probably a bit too strong for us. With our 40 fighters here. So I'm going to back up and uh, try to get a few more ships ready before attempting on attacking this sector here. Yeah, that would be the best course of action, I believe. <laughs> 